When I walked into this, this cloister, reminded me of the uh, cafe at St. Martin's in the Fields at the uh, northeast corner of Trafalgar Square. Because, you know, I've seen this sort of thing in, in quite a few places, but not in this kind of state. Like, I've seen this sort of thing in cathedrals and places, but it's, it's, it's being used, even if it's being used as a cafe. Uh, and, it, it, you know, the walls and the floor and all that are, are, are cleaner and, you know, not messed up like this is. This is obviously being left like this, though, for a reason. And in a way, I find that more fascinating because it's kind of, it's not in its original state. Apparently, these columns, which are uh, Sussex marble, apparently, were all finely polished uh, and, and, and in black. And this whole cloister would have been uh, um, decorated. Right. But as you can see now, it's, it's, it's somewhat different. Um, but yeah, there's a little part of me that actually prefers this to say going into a modern day place like this that's now a cafe or a tea room or you know something like that let's just go for a little walk oh there's a bunch more things to see according to okay. I mean this was built what 800 years ago something Wow. I mean, how much did these people get paid a week? Probably not that much. If who knows? Maybe they were slaves. Well, wow, look at this. We're still on um, the grounds of Battle Abbey. In case you're wondering. Oh, something to read. There's an exit over there, I'm going to go at that exit. 